Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a test to see if a window shade actually works. Don't forget to check out my website at www.forddiyers.com or click on link in the description below. Be sure to also check out my other social media pages such as Google+, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So considering my one car is only a Sunday driver, it does unfortunately have direct contact with the sun when parked in the driveway. I wanted something to protect the interior, keeping the internal heat down, and reducing the amount of damage caused by the ultraviolet light. Considering this car is over 30 years old, it has been exposed to UV damage within the interior. Materials will dry out over time, such as leather, vinyl, plastics, fabric, carpet, etc. This will cause them to crack, fade, discolor, and give off a volatile organic compound. If you are wondering what a volatile organic compound is, as a brief description, it is the evaporation of chemicals from a material when exposed to a certain temperature. I decided to purchase a windshield sunshade. They are available in a few different sizes depending on the model. You will have to determine the size of your windshield to pick the correct size. This can be installed on your vehicle, either in the rear or front window, depending which side is exposed to the sun more. This version is one of the cheaper ones, only about $20, and there is more expensive versions available. Simply unfold the sunshade and place it in the window. You will have to feed it around the rear view mirror. This model does have suction cups which sticks to the glass directly. It can be easily installed or removed in under 5 minutes. For this test I want to determine if it can actually keep down the interior temperature. Now with a little comparison using a thermometer sitting on the dash for only about an hour on a sunny day during the summer at the end of June. This day happened to be slightly cooler than compared to the regular summer's day at about 26 degrees Celsius or 79 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature without the window shade ended up being about 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius and rising a couple degrees in less than one minute period. After the sunshade was installed, I left that for the next day, allowing the materials and atmosphere to cool down within the vehicle. The next day actually ended up being a little hotter at 29 degrees Celsius or 84 degrees Fahrenheit. This time around it was a steady 92 degrees Fahrenheit or 33 degrees Celsius. Overall we can see quite a drop in temperature along with providing some form of a barrier against UV light. Beyond the material breaking down, as mentioned earlier, we also have to worry about the off-gassing of materials, especially more noticeable on newer vehicles. Considering the vehicle's interior is a small space, the chemical vapor can build up and may have negative effects on one's health. So keeping the temperature down within your interior will help protect the materials from breaking down and reduce off-gassing. With that being said, a cheap sunshade can help keep those two issues at bay. It can protect one's health, keeps a vehicle looking good and maintains its value. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments, please feel free to post them below. Thank you for watching.